Hi everyone, in today's video we are constructing a table without replacement. So this is for our two-step probability and for this example we're doing uh, two letters are chosen from the word kick without replacement. So I've inserted a table already to start us off and I'm going to put down each side so the word kick and I've given myself too much space but that's all right we'll just ignore that so and this is the first draw and this is the second draw okay so if I'm going to draw a letter from the word kick and I can only take each letter once so that means I'm going to use a red pen so if I am taking the first K I can't also take the first K from the second draw, so that option isn't possible. It's going to be the same all the way down the middle. If I take the first, the I, then I can't take the I in the second draw. If I take the C, I can't take the C in the second draw, and so on. So what could my possible outcomes be? So I could draw I, then K. I could draw C then K, and I could draw K, then K, because there is two Ks in kick. And I'm just going to go through and do the same thing for each one. So I could draw K, then I, C, then I, and K, then I. I could draw K, then C, I, then C, or K, then C, and so on and so forth. Okay, so now I have my table drawn up. So that is part A of our question. So we've constructed our two-step table. So this is a list of my sample space. Find the probability of obtaining the outcome KC, selecting two Ks, or selecting K and C. So for these, I'm going to use my table. So for BI, the first one was probability of the outcome K, then C. So I'm going to go through and see how many times I have that outcome in my table. So I want K then C. So here it is once. Is it going to be there again? Yep, and here it is again. K then C. So that means I have K then C in my outcomes twice. But what's my total for my table? So to find my total, I'm going to count up all of my outcomes in my sample space. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. I forgot to count that one. So that means my total is twelve. So I'll just write it over here, total sample space, oops, sorry, space is equal to twelve. So what about for my next one? So my next option was selecting two Ks. So the probability of having K then K. Okay, so I'm going to go through, and just like last time, I will highlight all the times that we've got K then K. So here's the first time, and here's the second time. So that it only appears twice as well. So this is 2 over 12. And you might have noticed something that we forgot to do for our last one, was to simplify our fraction. So if I want to simplify 2 over 12, then I can divide both top and bottom by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 12 divided by 2 is 6. So I'm going to simplify both those fractions. The last one is that we have the probability of finding k and a c. So this is k and c. And what that means, and how that's different to my first one, is that any time that k and c are together, it doesn't have to be in any particular order. So I'll just add that as a note underneath it no order. So to do this I'm going to highlight again, this time in green. 
So I want K then C. So I have one over here. So I'll just highlight above it. I have it over here. But what about my opposite order? So if I had C then K and C then K. So I'll just highlight them up. And if I count those highlighted ones, I have four. So I'll go back to my pen. There we go. And I have 4 over 12. And I can simplify this fraction by dividing by 4. So I will divide both top and bottom by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So now we have the probability of finding a K and a C together is 1 third. Hope that makes sense guys and we'll see, talk to you next time.